Hey, I'm in my friends here and I want to talk a little bit about what I've been doing with the Sophia Rick and training the models inside Dreamboot. So most people is doing putting their own faces or actors and actress faces into to make memes and it's a very fun thing to do and also I mean they have very artistic uh, ambitions about what they want to do which is really great um, but for people that want to have their own OC or maybe doing a comic or something they want to have like a, a, con, a, a constant or a solid representation of that character from various views so they're gonna use uh, Dreamboat for that and now we are really near to having like a solution that is mm, workable and workable it's been like from the beginning I mean it's like it's getting easier so this is the last uh, good collab that, I, that has just been released and this one is the one that I've been using that I was modifying to my needs so what I do is I plug some images of Zafiro like and then train them all for some, I don't know, 2,000 steps and then get uh, some images out of it. But I have a better technique now and when I am done testing it, I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to do it. But for now, I just wanna show what's the process if you want to start and also make your own test. So here, is like the results I've been getting, which are quite good, in my opinion. Um, I think there is, uh, yeah, got some more here. Of course, these images are 512 by 512, and afterwards they're gonna be like some photoshopping to do with this but they are getting near to what we need we just have to improve the prompts and all of that and to get that, I input these images of Zafiro, as I said. And I'm gonna show you a bit the, the collab, which is useless now because, to be honest, it will change again and by the time it's stable and stuff. So basically, you run these cells, input your login uh, for the login phase. And then here you use your, you're gonna tell it to use the model from the hogging face or maybe the, the waifu 1.4 or 1.3, I think it is. And then of course, if you are using like a, like a model that is already uh, trained for some specific thing, you're gonna get different results. And then you give it like, a, the folder where you're gonna save your images for loading them for training the model and then this is like uh, like your class and an identifier and when you put that into a prompt it will give you uh, the images with the trained model stuff that you don't these are for loading the images into the folder and now here we got some settings that we can mess to get uh, better, better. Uh, these are like all the images that we can see now of how to uh, train the model. So we got like floating point 16 to improve the speed. And then we have like you say bit Adam, which is like now is one of the important ones. And then we got like uh, grading accumulation uh, grading steps this is also like an important thing and the most important thing here will be 
for the next run when you already train your model and you want to regularize the images then you can make it nearer to your model if you uh, have it like you will make it near to your class if you uh, diminish this thing so you diminish it and it goes more like uh, more like your previous mode so it's very self-explanatory and then here we got the amount of images that the class is gonna use it doesn't need to be high for the first run and not sure for the second it's a matter of testing and then the steps depends of how many images and what is your subject for now I think 60-60 is quite high for a first run I'm gonna change it and maybe do uh, I think it's generations or something like that so you load again the, your model here you load your model again here and do a second uh, and maybe you can even change the class and mix it with something else uh, Joe Pena says that the class is not really in his uh, github he says that it's not really important it doesn't change much uh, because he trains himself as a dog and he still came out as a as a human <laughs> so maybe maybe it's not that important so now here if you come up with your if you already done your model it will come here in the output there and this is what it's going to take to uh, check to run the stable diffusion and make your images so you can come here uh, change this um, you don't need to run the whole thing if you just want to check a trained model that you already done just run these cells and it will come up after training your model because it takes hours after that let's say that you don't want to do it again so you can just test and make images with your old model here but now because we have uh, actually this is the one that I did for converting the thing. This is the one that I'm talking that you can change this output there and just run this cell. So is this pipe equal stable diffusion pipeline from pre-trained? So and here in output there you can uh, select what you have here already in this in this output there. The trained model will be safe here in dream weights or stable diffusion weights in your Google Drive because this is not mounted. I, but for me, I, I save it here and I have my trained models here. The last iteration uh, saves a CKPT with this thing that I. I drag here but I'm gonna explain that better in, in a newer tutorial okay that was all thank you uh, thank you for watching this